Well, hello. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. We're live. Not a rhythm, yeah. We're live from my home kitchen, everybody. I'm going to call up the old Rhythmia Facebook page on my iPad here. Who's watching? Is anybody watching? We are live from Meg's kitchen here on the Rhythmia Facebook page. It's Sunday fun day. Spirit Animal Sunday, as I've lovingly decided to call it today. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I had a little post this morning about peacocks. Um, my spirit animal, spirit, spirit totem, my future life animal. Um, peacocks, as, you, as we've probably talked about, I'm a bit obsessed. I have a peacock on one arm and a peacock feather on my other arm and I have peacocks on my legs. Um, so I just hashtagged my Sunday as Spirit Animal Sunday because I made a big post about that on my Instagram if you want to check that out. I'm not going to get too many details here. But let's see who's watching. Let's call this bad boy up. Oh, got to turn the volume off. How do we do that? I don't know on my logistics here for being live in my kitchen. I'm here by myself and I haven't quite sorted out the logistics. I have no Kenneth. Kenneth, where are you? I need you. I should invite Kenneth over every Sunday. Okay, so the reason that we're live, by the way, from my kitchen is because Rhythmia, we're taking a little break for the month of September. And we weren't gonna, I wasn't planning to do the Facebook Lives, but then Jerry and I were talking. I'm like, you know what, I wanna keep doing them. So Rhythmia is actually gonna be closed. We don't have any guests booked for the next month, um, but we'll be doing, I think Jerry, myself, and Jeff for sure are gonna be doing our Facebook Lives for you guys every week, just so we don't break any, any of our habits, our good habits that we have, and this is a really good habit for me to always be connecting with you guys every week. I really, really love doing it, so I'm gonna be doing it from wherever I happen to be over the next four weeks. Today, obviously, home in my own kitchen. Next Sunday, I'll be coming to you live from the road as well as the week after that. Uh, stay tuned for information on that. I'll maybe talk about that at the end of my live today. Well, let's see who's watching, shall we? Sven is watching, Mel is watching, hello Mel. Sheila is saying hello, Mirka's watching from Finland, my Finland friends, oh, by the way, I use this every single night. This is my amazing little mug that was gifted to me from this, our amazing group from Finland that visited us not too long ago, and this is my tea, I sip tea. If I ask any of my friends that come over at night and see, I, I use this literally every night. That's my, my pre-bed tea sipping cup, straight from Finland. Lori Baker's watching. Hey, Lori. Tim is watching. Mel is saying we had two growing up so beautiful peacocks. Is that what you're talking about? So I was talking with my mom about peacocks this morning and her and I, because growing up, my Oma and Opa, my mom's parents, they had a hobby farm in Elmer, Ontario, Canada. And it was like things of fairy tales. Like I remember going to Oma and Opa's. We'd be driving down the road and from like kilometers out, we would start to see Oma and Opa's barn. And my sisters and I would sit in the back seat in the car and sing a little song that went like this. I see Opa's barn, I see Opa's barn. That was the song that we would sing because we would see the barn from the distance. And then when we got there, my Oma and Opa had this big, beautiful piece of, piece of land wrapped around a pond that was gated, but inside of this gated little piece of property and this um, surrounding this pond was all the mystical, magical wildlife that a, that a little girl could imagine. Everything from white swans and peacocks to a pony. And I remember just listening, you know, being at my Oma and Opa's and hearing the peacock call. My mom was giving me the, the difference of the female versus the male call this morning on FaceTime, but I can't differ differentiate, but it was like, ah, ah! <laughs> the funniest sound, but it's very distinctive. And I know the peacock call more than any other bird in the world. And so it was really funny. Mom and I on FaceTime this morning trying to do the peacock call to each other. Ridiculous Sunday morning. This is why it's spirit animal Sunday in my world. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Sadini's watching. Linda says done. Tim saying hello. Colleen is saying hello. Hello, Colleen. Okay. So in the nature of the the coming the next four weeks, I'm going to be some, doing something a little bit different. Um, today I'm going to talk about a few things that I just want to share with you guys, and we're going to do a recipe. Um, these are going to be shorter over the next little while, just because of the the, the nature of everything and, and and ebbing and flowing and taking a tiny bit of a break. So today. Uh, I wanted to just share a few things with you. Oh, by the way, so the comp, the title of this Facebook Live, Big City Eats, clearly not quite accurate. When I had decided to do this, uh, I was gonna be in San Jose, which is the capital city of Costa Rica. I was gonna be driving there late yesterday to go see a friend who's there. Um, but at, I decided last minute that I didn't really wanna jump in a car and do that long drive, because it's about a four or five hour drive from where I live. 
so we canceled that and so now I'm here I am in in my not so big city uh, just outside of Camarindo Costa Rica which is very nearby to Rizmi I live about a 20 minute drive from there so not so much big city eats but there are some stuff I want to talk about relating to cities um, so let's start talking about that now but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull ourselves an angel card because you're in my home I want to show you guys a little bit more, a little inside scoopity scoop about my life. So every single morning before I really do much of anything, I pull an angel card. And this is just food for thought, good vibes. I don't, I mean, I've always read my horoscopes. I don't do it so much anymore. I used to have them emailed to me. I used to be very addicted to it. But now I don't do any of this stuff as really as, as much as a way to, you know, to, be, to believe that this is the way it has to be or this is the way it's going to be, but it's kind of good vibes. I mean, the angel card, you don't typically get cards that give you bad news, so it's kind of nice to just do this and feel good about the day. So I'm going to give us all an angel card right now. And I mean, like I said, this is just good vibes, food for thought. And let's, let's just see. I, this is a relatively new deck for me, and I've only probably seen about 30% of the cards, so it's kind of exciting. So I'm just giving this a little bit of a shuffle before we get rocking and rolling here. Let's see. What do the angels have to tell us all? this afternoon. So I'm just going to split the deck. See what sh what we got to say. Oh, this is a good one, everybody. It says have confidence. This is what she you guys can't read that, but have confidence. Super super cool. So I'm going to read this. It says moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in, in God or spirit is enough, along with knowing that spirit works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us, the angels, if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. So that's fun. So that's our card for today. Have confidence, everybody. So you don't need to necessarily manifest it within yourself, but just having faith is more than enough. So I think that that's a beautiful message for us all today. Let's just have, I'm going to have confidence that this Facebook Live is going to go off without a hitch in my kitchen. <laughs> all right. Let's see what else do we have. Any anyone's having? To, da, da, da. Justin John is saying hi. Hi, Justin John. Rush, Rushab, Rushab, Rushab Shah. Am I saying that correctly? Linda is saying Dunn was a response to Rhythmy's invitation to share. Oh, thanks you, Linda. Yeah, guys. If there's anyone, any of these Facebook lives that you watch, I always forget to mention it. Jerry's really good at mentioning it. If there's anyone you think that should see some of our videos as we're doing them or after the words, please share them. We're trying to just get the get the word out there. Kenneth Salas Moren is watching. Kenneth, I miss you. <laughs> I've already gave you a shout out. But I don't have you here being my cameraman. Maybe I need to invite you to wherever I'm going to be for the next few weeks because I've had a lot of logistical issues getting all, this all set up. I miss you guys too. Anita saying hi from Fresno, California. And Psychedelic Adventure saying trust in the process. Yeah, just trust in the process, 100%. Um, so we just pulled our angel card. I'm going to set that aside. So that was super fun, wasn't it? <laughs> and there's a couple more things I want to talk about. So the first thing I want to talk about is I'm going to be doing some live television appearances this month. I'm going to be traveling to Toronto later on in September. Um, and I'm going to be doing one live television appearance on Breakfast Television in Toronto. So if you're in the area or if you have access to a computer because you can live stream it, they stream live every morning. Breakfast Television from, I think they're from live from 5.30 a.m. till 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be on on Tuesday, September 18th. And I'm going to be talking my, my, my way about the Blue Zones. So the Blue Zones, if you're not familiar, I've done a whole Facebook Live on it. I think it was back in February or maybe December. Um, but I did do one uh, when I was live in Nosara, Costa Rica a while back because Nosara, Nicoya Peninsula, this, this kind of this region of, of Costa Rica is considered one of the country, the world's five Blue Zones. There are five that include Nicoya, Costa Rica, Loma Linda, California, Sardinia, Italy, Ikaria, Greece, Okinawa, Japan. Yeah, I remember it. I haven't looked at this um, in, its, in detail in a long time. So these are the five regions of the world. And we call them the blue zones. Um, I'm not sure why the blue reference. I'm going to look that up so I know. Um, but these are regions of the world that have the highest percentage of sanitarians or people living to be over 100. And there's many different reasons for it. And the National Geographic and Dan Butner did a lot of research as to what the factors that the, all of these regions, these people in these regions have in common. Diet is a huge part of, of all of, um, in all five regions. And a highly plant-based diet is, is in, in particular. Um, and here in Costa Rica, there are certain ingredients and recipes that are utilized a lot by sanitarians in traditional Costa Rican cuisine. So I'm going to be talking about that 
on breakfast television, but I'm also gonna be talking about how to miracle meal I some of these traditional ingredients and in food. So I'm gonna be doing my spin and my take on, on some of these ingredients and recipes. So that's gonna be live on breakfast television in Toronto on September 18th, and then on September 26th, the following Wednesday, you will see me appearing on City TV's City Line, which is their morning daytime talk show um, that I'll be talking about all things avocado. So if you tuned into my Facebook Live last week that was all things avocado, think kind of the same idea. I might be doing some very similar recipes and expanding on that because I'm gonna have a little bit, of, a little bit, a lot of time to go over with Tracy, the host. So all things avocado, that'll be Wednesday, September 26th. So tune in for those. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about is a couple of things, um, well, well, one thing that's in season. If you've been to Rhythmia in the last little while, you'll have seen probably these crazy fruits on the buffet at Rhythmia at breakfast time. So yes, this is a fruit. We call them mamoncino, and they're like the lychee fruit. And I wanna just show you guys these because they're super good, I've been buying them. You can buy them on like roadside street sands like for two to, under $2 for a kilo of these bad boys. So I'm gonna just show you guys what these look like inside. So this is it, it's like this prickly, crazy, alien looking fruit on the outside, and then what I like to do is, if my fingers can get in there, you peel the skin away, and inside is this beautiful fruit. Look at that. We've had lychee, I used to be a big fan of lychee martinis back in the day, but look at this. Beautiful, beautiful fruit, and then there's a little pit inside, so you gotta eat around that. Mm, so good. So this, the mamoncino, mm, so good. In season, now in Costa Rica. So if you're here or you're visiting, you wanna make sure you try those. Or, so I'm just washing my hand off real quick. Have you been to the grocery store back home, wherever you live, and you've seen those in the in the proto style, and you've been like, ugh, that looks creepy and weird. Now you know, delicious, lush fruit. So try it next time. Maybe you'll love it. Um, lychee, yes, Joey's saying, he's saying lychee. Kim Carson is saying hello. Guido's giving a thumbs up. Alice is watching from the Czech Republic. Super fun. Melhaven saying so yummy. Um, they're white inside. That is correct. Um, Tim, they weren't, we didn't have them in June. They weren't quite in season yet, so we weren't buying them. Now is the time. Now is more of the time. That's why we've got, we're serving them at Rhythmia. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, Sarah, I have a little list here. Dun, dun, dun. Is oat milk. So the other thing that I've come across um, in the last couple of days was a new brand of cartoned oat milk here in Costa Rica. So I have to say I've been living here five years ago this month, five years ago this today, this September, I moved to Central America. I've had, that's when I went through a huge life transition and I sold off literally all my belongings except for, except for I think six big rubber storage containers that I stored in my mom's garage. But it was five years ago this month that I moved to Central America. I actually lived in Panama, in Bocos del Toro, on Isla Pacimentos, in this island for a while, for about a month, teaching yoga. And then I traveled my way up into Costa Rica to my first um, gig, where I was teaching raw food and yoga retreats. But it's five years this month. And I have to say, there's been a huge growth in what is available here as far as specialty ingredients. So I think it's so true, you know, Supply and demand is very, very true because there's uh, is, a, is a, such a real thing. Because since I moved, when I first moved here, there's a lot of things that you just didn't see. Even almond milk wasn't really a thing. You can buy it. You have, I mean, you, it's nice to make it your own. But you wouldn't see it traditionally on grocery store shelves. You wouldn't see things like nutritional yeast on grocery grocery store shelves. You wouldn't see gluten free anything. But in the last five years, it's just been like mind blowing how much um, stuff has become available here. And so I was super, super stoked when I was at the grocery store yesterday to see cartons of oat milk coming up on the shelves. And I think a while back I talked a bit about oat milk in one of my other Facebook lives because that was a big thing in 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 North America for a while. That was became the big milk alternative. And I was actually making milk, oat milk um, a couple of for, for a few years now because that was really cost effective for me because when I was catering big retreats like feeding up to like 75 people breakfast, lunch and dinner Doing homemade almond milk every day for 75 can become quite costly because nuts here are one of the most expensive, like the biggest price markups I find for a lot of ingredients here. Nuts and seeds are, are definitely, you know, the most costly. So I was working on how I could sub out some of the cost for the nuts, so I started making oat milk. Um, and now it's a big thing, and it's a great um, dairy alternative. It's super rich and delicious as long as you like the taste of oats. If you don't like oatmeal, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but I wanna just show you real quick this brand, what it looks like, and then we're gonna make it ourselves. 
So I'm just walking over to my refridge. Oh, I should show you guys my refrigerator before we hang out because it's kind of ridiculous. I'll show you, I'll give you a little tour of my fridge after this. But this is this the brand of this oat milk. I'm not going to show you the brand name, but you can see. Rich and creamy. Look at how it coats the side of my glass even a little bit, just like regular milk. It's sweet. I read the ingredients on the label earlier this morning, and it is just oat water sea salt and there is some um, oil in it um, I think it's sunflower oil and that's just to help give it the nice rich lusciousness so it doesn't have any other thickeners or stabilizers in it which was pretty cool but I want to tell you guys how easy it is to make your own let's see does anyone have any comments here do, 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 do. I didn't see those there in June to, oh yes yeah, so I think that's everywhere also here in Norway it's really popular now the oats the oat milk I guess that's what you're talking about eh Joey I can't for some reason see your whole comment Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out, guys. <laughs> I'm like, you should see, I should show you my setup. I have my iPad over here. I literally have my laptop open and that's what's holding on my iPhone. I'm actually shooting this on my iPhone. My iPhone is like resting on the back of my laptop. I'm using like every single piece of technology. Karen Ellis says, I'm sensitive to anything grains. I love oats, but my body does not. Yeah, I mean, and everyone's different. If your body can't, if you can't stomach oats, especially if you're celiac, I mean, unless you can find gluten-free specific oat milk, I would be very careful with subbing it out. But things like sunflower seed milk or hemp seed milk, these are all great options as well. And this is just merely, I do this because of it for cost and because I like the taste. So we're gonna make it real quick. So I've got my blender here and I'm gonna take about a cup of oats. So these are just some whole oats. Um, and I'm reusing, I think this was a sauerkraut jar. Washed very well, obviously, before I used it. Um, does not smell like sauerkraut. I'm gonna put in about a cup of oats into my blender here. And what I like to do is about a cup of oats to three cups of water. So I've got some cold water here and I'm gonna dump some in. I'm just gonna do about that much. Whee! And you know, and you could just go ahead with that like that, but adding a pinch of sea salt is a great idea. Look at me reaching on. Dun, dun, dun. Little pinch of sea salt, just because salt brings out all the flavors in you know sweet and or savory things. So always with the salt. And then I'm gonna add a couple of other ingredients. I'm gonna add a few drops of stevia. You could add some organic maple syrup. Um, I have the stevia, so I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of sweetener, sweetness, and then I'm gonna add in some vanilla, vanilla. And this is just a, excuse me, a little organic organic vanilla powder, which I think we've talked about in the past as well. So delicious. And then I'm gonna put it on the blender. This is my home version of my Vitamix. It's not quite as loud as the one that we have at, at Lidmia, but bear with me. Powered blender you don't have to stress too much about the next step but if you don't have a high powered blender you want to grab either your nut sack aka your nut milk bag that we've talked about many a times on the Facebooks I don't have one at home here all I have is a fine sieve a fine mesh sieve so you could use that as well look at that good quality camera um, on that there phone of mine and what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna strain this a little bit I'm gonna move my iPad out of the way because I tend to make a mess. And I'm just gonna strain some of this through this sieve into my, my home juicer pitcher and that'll do the trick. And if you don't really mind the grit, I would skip this, this step altogether because, and if, because if you're using a high power blender, you're gonna blend it up pretty smooth anyway. Dump the remainder of that. And then what we're gonna do, my friends, because I'm thirsty, look at this, by the way. this whoa so creamy and delicious it's like talk about okay and so you remember I was talking about look at how the uh, first one the store-bought one run sticks to the sides now that sticks to the sides again if you don't like oatmeal don't recommend this but we're gonna make uh, myself me a little snackaroonie right now so I'm gonna take a little bit of that oat milk and I've got one little frozen banana here. You know where I'm going with this, kids. We're going into banana milk, banana coffee territory. 
but we're not using coffee because it's after 2 p.m. Costa Rica time. And if I have coffee right now, I will not sleep awake. If you've been following along with these Facebook Lives the last little while, you remember I've been suffering from some severe insomnia, which has ebbed and flowed, and I've been sleeping quite a bit the last little week, the last little week, the last week. So fingers crossed that stays. So I'm definitely not drinking coffee, but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna blend this banana and my, and my fresh made oat milk together just to smooth it out. Don't need to go too crazy with that. So what I added there was frozen banana, about a cup and a half of the oat milk that we just made and, and some, some a little bit more stevia. And then what I've gone and done is I've taken this crazy, coffee substitute that I picked up in Italy. <laughs> so this is not English and it's not Spanish, but it is a, uh, a coffee substitute that's made of grains. So there's different brands in, in Canada and in North America. I've used, um, Dandy Blend was a brand that I used to love in Canada when I was there and it's made of burdock root and dandelion and it's just a really great coffee alternative. It tastes delicious and it's, and it's really good for the body. So what this looks like is just like, almost like a really fine instant coffee that you just combine with warm water, dissolve it in warm water, and then you can use it the same way we'd use coffee. So I'm gonna use this today as my, as my coffee base, and I've already gone ahead and dissolved some in water and let it cool. So there it is, super rich and delicious. One thing that I did forget is ice, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. Woo -hoo! <laughs> Big old jar of frozen pineapple juice or pineapple water just fell out of the freezer and rolled across the living room floor. That's fun. All the fun and pleasures of doing this from home when I'm not fully prepared. So I'm just adding a few ice cubes into my glass here. It's just going to help keep it nice and cold. And then I'm going to pull my banana. This is the piece that is this dance. This is my favorite part. As you've seen this, we've done it before on the show. Yes, there's our coffee and our ice. Ooh, so sexy. We need to be playing like a sexy bedroom song or something. Look at that. <laughs> it's the sexy banana coffee song. Beautiful, right? And then, I, look at this is so fun. I could just reach into my kitchen cupboard because I know where everything is here. I got my stainless steel straw. Oh my God. So good, so good. This is a perfect afternoon pick-me-up. Great source of complex carbohydrates from the oats. Banana energy, potassium, great, because I did a really big, big, strong workout this morning, so that's really great for me to have the, have the banana in there, and I'm feeling great. So that is our recipe for today, kids. Let, what do we have here? I'm gonna check the comments here. I'm sensitive to anything grains. Okay, we got that. Bridie Lee is watching. Bridie, how do you like my professional chefing at home? <laughs> Bridie's a dear friend, chef of mine from Australia, so I'm glad you're tuning in. Um, I would like to have the life you have, says Karen. Thank you. I've, I've worked my ass off for this life, and I continue to work my ass off, but I love what I do, so it's, it's you know, I'm blessed every day. What is the powder ingredient called? So this one was called, I mean, I picked, literally, I picked this up in Rome. Or so soluble, so it's like soluble grains. Um, but there's a bunch of different ones out there. Maybe I can put a link in the comments to different brands. But any of the coffee substitutes, my friend Karen that I work with at Rhythmia, she's got a really great band that she, that she likes, and I can't remember the name of it. But I'll try to remember and type those out. If anyone can think any, maybe add them to the comments right now. Um, Jamie Hardy's watching. David says, you are a killer. I'm a killer. What do you mean, David? Oh, you're not saying that I'm a killer of anything bad. You're just, are you making fun of me? David, where are you watching from? Are you still at, where are you? Where are you watching from, my friend? Jamie's saying hi. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys my refrigerator before we go, what do you think? You wanna see that? You're gonna laugh. Okay, so I gotta pick you guys up. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. First, I'm gonna figure out how to turn this around. Oops, it's telling me I can't rotate my phone. There we go. Is there a picture, is it working? There we go. So here's the, the jar of coconut water that fell out of my freezer. <laughs> no big deal. I'm not gonna give you the whole tour of my house because it's a bit messy. But into the refrigerator we go. Uh, just a little quick tour. So what we got? We got flaxseed and hemp seed, nutritional yeast, omega-3s, coconut milk, peanut butter. Oh, look at this. This is super fun. Like I was talking about earlier that 
you know, there was a lot of stuff that you couldn't get here in Costa Rica. Now you can, you can buy for lazy chefs like me, pre-spiralized vegetables. Um, one of the supermarkets in town do this now. So I don't have a spiralizer at home anymore because I've brought them all to the restaurant. So I, when I'm lazy, I just pick those up. I've got pumpkin seeds, really, really, really healthy. Again, lazy chef doesn't cook at home. I've got packaged hummus. I've got some sprouts, some little cucumbers. This is my beverage selection. I always have sparkling, sugar-free, no artificial sweetened waters, and kombucha. And down here, I've got some free-sliced vegetables. There's a six-pack of beer for when I have guests shoved away in the back. Some prunes, a super ripe plantain. Down here, I've got some you know traditional stuff i'm lazy i just have carrots and hummus quite often for dinner more spiralized vegetables lots of apples and limes and orange pepper and a red cabbage so yeah that my friends is a little <laughs> lazy chef's kitchen um i'm sure bridie can agree that sometimes we just actually we actually don't ever cook at home um because a we do it for a living b we have restaurants so i quite often just bring home some bring home leftovers from the buffet and eat that but that's my fridge, so a little intimate look into my world, angel cards and refrigerators. And the one thing I didn't talk about yet is my shirt. I think I've been telling you guys I'm gonna be wearing a different food themed shirt every week. This week I'm wearing my cherry boom, not cherry bomb, cherry boom shirt. So now I'm officially out of t-shirts, I need to buy more. That's gonna be a project of mine this September when I'm traveling, I'll be picking up some fun food related attire for y'all. And that is it. That is all we have for you guys today. Um, I want to let you guys know that next week I'm going to be live again, but this time from Nosada. So I'll be going back down to Nosada, Playa Guiones. I'm going to be there for a breathing intensive with my breathwork teacher, Ashley Ludman, over the weekend. So I'm going to be doing my Facebook Live from there. Don't know the content. Right now we called it Food for Thought, so you just wait and see what that's going to be all about. And then the week after that I'll be live from Canada. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, share this with anyone that, I mean, I don't know how, how beneficial <laughs> this one will be for people. There was one recipe I talked mostly just about whatever I wanted to talk about, but I really appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. And again, tune in tomorrow. I believe Dr. Jeff is live tomorrow, Monday, and then Jerry will see you guys again on Saturday. So I wish you guys a beautiful Sunday, Sunday fun day. And if you're up in Canada, happy last couple of days of summer. This is a Labor Day long weekend, the last long weekend of the summer up in Canada. So everyone that's up there, enjoy, 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 and happy back to school week for all the kidlins. Mom and dad, happy getting back to schedules with for you guys. And I look forward to seeing you guys here again next week. All right, have a beautiful day. Mwah.